Hi, welcome to my food saver video. I want to make a short video and show you how to use your food saver. And before we get into that, I want to share with you what we use our food saver for and the many benefits of it. You see here we have some prime cut top sirloin steak. We have a local s store, there's two of them that will put these on sale occasionally for $4.99. Now you end up buying 10 pounds. And uh, it's a wonderful way to, to keep these from freezer burning. I know someone who actually ages his meat in his freezer for six months. He says it's more tender that way. Okay? There's no way this is going to be in our freezer for six months. We love steak. Okay? We recently bought um, 40 pounds of chicken thighs that a local store had on sale for, for 88 cents a pound. I vacuum sealed 10 pounds raw. I did 10 pounds in my smoker and this was lucky to get in there. We love that so much. We did about 10 pounds of roasted, my wife's delicious mushroom chicken. And you notice this, it's a liquid, and in order to vacuum seal liquid, it needs to be frozen. I saw a video from Food Saver uh, where the fellow took some uh, homemade tomato sauce, froze it, put it like this, and he said it was going to last two to three, four years. Um, our food's not going to last that long. I buy um, bulk bacon, and uh, I put it into 10 slice packages for us. And I also have a smoker and I smoke my own cheese. And I do have a video on how to properly age cheese. And you may want to look at that if you have a smoker and you smoke your cheese. So, now here we have my vacuum seal. And this is a, a vacuum model 1050. And I still have the price tag on there. I paid $6.50 for this at a thrift store. You don't have to pay $149. I looked at that at the store, it had a bad seal. So I was able to fix a seal with some silicone and condition it. And next time I do one, I'll probably do a video on that too. And you notice on this one, it has an on button and it has a manual seal button. So it will automatically seal or you can override to a manual seal. The automatic seal, there's a, a pressure switch in there that measures how many inches of vacuum there is. It relies, whoops, ready to go and it'll automatically seal it. That mechanism gums up in there and that's a big problem with these so if this one ever gums up I just hit the manual seal everything's going to be fine so we're going to go to these rolls here you can buy bags I buy these rolls on Amazon I have a 50 foot roll of an 8 inch and a 50 foot roll of 11 inch these are 22.35 or something on Amazon it's a good price I've tried other vacuum with the bags and rolls and these seal better They're, you get a good wonderful seal on those and I'm going to be the first to admit, I can't cut these straight with scissors. And I end up wasting a lot of bag. So, my wife has a little paper cutter that I use. Save that. And I put the roll this way, roll down. So if, if I turn it this way and I pull on, it's going to roll off the end of the table. So, I'm going to leave this in here where a decent sized bag. You want your bag bigger than what you think you're going to need it to be. Okay, and I make sure it's square up on top here. And so, there's the size bag I want. Now, you have to seal one end before you go. And it's that little crease right here from the manufacturing process. I don't want that up where I'm going to seal the top, so I'm going to seal the bottom that way. And to seal on these, you put the, just, just up to the rubber seal. And you see where I repaired the rubber seal there. And you don't want to put it over into the vacuum channel. So I push this down. Now what I'm going to do is hold this firmly. I'm going to press the on button. But before the vacuum builds up too much, I'm going to go ahead and hit the manual seal. Because I don't need it to go through the whole cycle. That's another advantage of these. Nice. Really nice seal on that. I've, they've tried these others that I've bought in stores and they just don't seal that well. So now, just randomly going to grab some nuts here to seal. There we go. I always have seem to have better luck with the clear side on top. I don't know why. I'm not going to fight it. Now if I had cut this shorter, it would be harder to get this to lay flat up here. 
and I've had where I've a lot of work trying to get it lay flat and ended up with a crease in there and didn't seal properly. So you just lay this up here and you see where I can tuck this in the channel there. So you don't want it over the other part of the seal, just in there like that. We'll go ahead and close this and you'll watch the automatic seal. seal there. You always want to check your seal on top. If you have any liquid that came up, uh, it kind of inhibits the seal, but these bags work really well. And there, you have a nice sealed bag of nuts. Thanks for watching.